So what are the top three upgrades for your Harley Davidson? Hang around, I'm about to tell you, and save you some money. So you just invested a whole lot of your hard-earned cash into a brand new Harley Davidson of your dreams. All good. Thank you. And you're thinking to yourself, what mod should I do? And you've watched 20,000 YouTube videos on what the best mods are, and your mates are telling you, put an exhaust on, put slip-ons on, stage one, stage two. Well, I'm here to tell you, the best place to invest your money in Coming at number three on the list is probably the cheapest one and the easiest one you can do. And that's upgrading your seat. I happen to have the Salomon Roadsaver extended reach seat, but there's numerous seats on the market. Uh, and bearing in mind that your bum is probably the main thing that is in contact with the motorcycle for most of the time, you want to make sure that's as comfortable as possible. You've got Lapera, Mustang, Salomon, Corbin, any number of uh, seats are out there on the market. I suggest what you do is go out there, test them, see which one suits you, but do that before you do anything else. The other thing you need to consider is for the pillion, make sure your pillion's comfortable if you're gonna have a pillion on there, because you wanna make it enjoyable for them as well. The more relaxed and comfortable they are, the better off you're gonna be in the long run because it's gonna make the ride that much more enjoyable. Comfortable now? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and the reason you do your seat first is it dictates everything else. Your seating position dictates everything else. If you need to up, you know, if you wanna get a higher windshield or you're, you're trying to figure out where your highway peg should go, once you've got the right seat in place and you know what your seating position is, everything else comes off that. Coming in at number two. Checking the tire pressure. And now, number one on the list of the top three upgrades to get your Harley Davidson more comfortable and you get more out of your investment is your suspension. Yep, that is the number one upgrade that you should do on your motorcycle. Above all else, on your Harley Davidson, upgrade your suspension. And don't just take my word for it. Listen to these guys. Hello. How you going, mate? Good, how are you, mate? Good. And what would you say is the number one mod you would do to make the, the, the Harley a better bike? Suspension. Thank you. That's all I need to know. <laughs> what do you think made the biggest difference to ride comfort on the motorbike? The suspension. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Hello, Whitey. Hey, mate. How are you? G'day, mate. How's things? Very good. Hey, if, no. there, if there was one upgrade you would do before all others on a Harley Davidson, what would it be? Uh, probably suspension, mate. Thank you very much. 
Re- reason being, it's uh, it's crap to start with, but at least adjusting the bloody original to to your body weight because I think that's half people's problem, mate. Now I happen to have the Legend Air Suspension Air A. Okay, so you have got adjustment here plus the airbag. Now the beauty of these is you got adjustment on the fly, up, down. So if you've got passengers, luggage, any that sort of stuff, you can adjust it as you go. If the road gets too bumpy or you want to, you know, do more cornering and stuff, you can adjust the suspension as you go. But you don't need to spend money on that sort of stuff. I have to use that air suspension because I'm a bigger guy, always kept riding two up, always got luggage, but there's other things you can use. You've got progressive, you've got, you know, other sorts of air suspension as well. You don't have to have the, the push button stuff. You can adjust it on the on the actual shock itself. Shock itself. There's brands out there, there's, it's almost unlimited. You've got Olin's Legend, Wilbur's, which is an integrated system. You have Fox Industries, you've got Drag Specialties. There's so many different varieties out there. But I'm telling you now, once you get the suspension on that motorcycle, it is a different motorcycle altogether. So they're the three things, guys, the three things that will make your ride that much better. Number one is the seat. Number two, your bars. And number three, the suspension. I hope this helps you guys a lot. It'll look, I'm telling you, through miles and miles and miles of riding um, and hours and hours on the bike, I'm telling you, those three things make an unbelievable difference to, to your ride and how much enjoyment you get out of the ride. Like I said to you before, I, I know there's lots of things you can spend it on. There's, you know, <laughs> if, if, and by all means, if that's what you want to do, go and put it, you know, spend it on stage twos and, and exhaust systems and all the other stuff and all the fancy gear. But to get the most bang for your buck and the biggest impact and the, and the reason you'll have more enjoyment is those three things. Seat, bars, suspension, lots of comfort, Lots more enjoyment, lots more miles, and lots more fun. Remember, keep getting off the couch. Thanks to everybody who subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, give us a subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> the wind in your head. It's hard to soar like an eagle when you're surrounded by buzzards. <laughs>